Hello and welcome to RuneScape. So this year's Halloween event, you can start it at Berthorpe. Uh, there's a little portal uh, with death standing next to it. Once you go through, there's a number of things that you can do. Uh, there is an Ectofunctus thing, which is good prayer XP because it's rearranged and made a lot quicker. So if you're going for fast XP or slightly cheaper XP than using Guild Altars or whatever, uh, this is a place to go. Uh, this will only be around for the couple of weeks that um, the event's around. So once you go in, uh, at the top of your screen you will see Amaskut, I think it, no, it's Icarlicatherin or whatever, however you say his name, I can't say it properly. Anyway, it will tell you what you can do at the time. Um, so there's a reward shop when you go in, um, sort of with a pun name based off Cinderquill, who was the guy who came up with the event, and uh, he's clearly taken, they've clearly taken ideas from uh, Resident Evil Merchant, and he's like, what are you buying? I've got some good things on sale, stranger. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is collect 20 souls. So head down the ramp and go onto a boat. Uh, these souls are instants to you, so if you see one, people can't go and steal them. Uh, and as you gather 20, occasionally you'll find a golden one, which will appear and give you some XP in a various skill. This skill will change over the coming days, uh, so on a day like this you could get uh, attack, strength, and ranged XP. So once you've gathered uh, 20 uh, souls, uh, you then have to help them across the bridge. So going across the bridge, uh, they'll slowly move and you'll come to a phase uh, where there'll be some devourers. You can either attack these using combat or you can siphon them using divination. Um, you don't gain any XP for this. And once you've done that for four or five of them, the souls will then move forward until they reach the next lot and then you have to do it again and then move forward and do the next lot and then eventually they'll reach a car in uh, and you'll then get some reward points like you'll get 400 reward points for sending them all in uh, also while you're helping the souls across when you gather a soul you'll get five and when you kill a devourer you'll also get five if it's at the time when you're helping them across otherwise you'll just get one and it won't let you gather the souls um, once you have your 20. And that's basically the whole event. Uh, you do that and you'll get your reward points. The rewards will give you a XP lamp, which is not very good. It's sort of like a mini XP lamp. I think it gives about half a small X normal XP lamp would give. So it's not that great. There's a pet cat there's a couple of death or a couple of um, new graves and there's also a death animation that you can unlock so there's a couple of extra things every 15 minutes um, the gates to hell I think it's hell or something like that will open and I guess it's this is a, a mascot anyway and it's a giant head thing and everyone can go and kill it and attack it. It does very little damage to you um, so anyone can go and fight it or just add a little bit of attack to it and just for helping that once it dies you'll get 350 points uh, and that's every 15 minutes so check out for that it will announce when it's appeared. Now there's a couple of other things uh, if you're attacking the devourers with combat they which are the gorilla ones uh, the other ones are sort of hellhoundy things the hellhounds you siphon the gorilla ones you attack they can deal quite a lot of damage um, usually not very much but occasionally they'll hit above a thousand so it's not great however if you do die uh, you just respawn back at where the souls came from you don't lose any of your stuff, so it's all safe. Um, so that's a good thing. If you leave the area while there are souls going across the bridge, so you head out of the portal again, uh, it'll reset your progress. So you'll have to come back in and collect all 20 souls again from the water. 
Anyway, it's a kind of interesting event. The rewards are ridiculously expensive. Um, so if you're going for them, it will take a long time to earn them. But other than that, it's quite cool. Um, if you're needing prayer XP, now is a very good time to get it because it's very fast and relatively affordable prayer XP and it's only going to be around for two weeks. Anyway, that's everything. Um, although, actually, wait. They, yesterday, so the day before it was released, because this was released at midnight for some spooky reason, uh, they also released a couple more uh, auras for the loyalty shop. So you can go and get uh, a new Jack of Trades, um, I think it's legendary. Uh, there's two more tiers of Wisdom Aura. Uh, there's a couple of other um, completely new auras, which will go from tier one all the way up to five. Um, yeah, and they're quite useful. Um, I went and got the Jack of Trades one and the Wisdom Aura, so I'll probably be using that. And yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.